Mac and Via class sets are an affordable way to purchase multiple copies of the same resource for short-term classroom use in projects, literature studies, reading groups, and more. Each copy can be used by one student for the duration of the license term. Go to Classroom, Class Sets. Click the Manage Class Sets button to see the titles in your Mac and Via with Class Set 1 user licenses. They will all be listed here, along with the author, copies available, and total number of licenses that were purchased. Click on a title to see more details. Click on Allocate Copies to select the number of copies needed for your class. And choose your start date. The end date will be automatically calculated based on the license term. If you choose today as the start date, a little message will pop up telling you that this will open the license period and you won't be able to adjust the start date after you click Save. If you don't like this class set code, you can generate a new one. Click Save to close out of the scheduling window. You can add instructions to your class set, format them, include hyperlinks to other information or videos, and upload images. Remember to scroll down to the bottom of the page and change the status of your instructions to showing so your students will see them and save. Mac and Via generates a code for each class set that is created. Be sure to give this code to your students so they can activate their licenses. The license term will begin on the start date you selected, not on the date that they activate the license. Your students can manually enter this code on their class sets page, or you can click on the code here in your admin and copy this class set link to email to your students or post to your class page or LMS for easy access. When students click on the link and sign into their Mac and Via backpack, the code is automatically redeemed in their backpack and they will see this title. If the license period has not yet begun, the resource will appear locked on their class sets page. It will automatically open when the license period begins. Once students begin to redeem their licenses, you can click on this number to see who those students are. There is a 14-day add drop period once the license term begins where you can remove members if the wrong student accidentally activates a license or if a student is no longer in the class. You can also add members during this time if there are enough licenses available. Click Edit and increase the number of copies to give to the members you are adding. When the 14-day add drop period ends, students will no longer be able to redeem the license code and all unused licenses will automatically go back into the main pool so none are wasted. At this time, you will no longer be able to remove students from the set or edit the set to add additional licenses. The Edit button will be replaced with an Add Member button, so you can still add additional students if there are licenses available. Click the Add Member button and enter the name or user ID of the student. Select the correct student and add them to the class set. The title will automatically be licensed to them and available in their backpack. You could also create a new class set for the student to join if you would like them to have a full license period to access the resource. To find a class set, use the View drop-down menu to search through all, scheduled, active, or inactive sets. You can also filter by title or by the name of the person who created the set. Scheduled sets can be edited and deleted if there are no members. To delete a scheduled set with members, you must first remove the members. You can easily share your class set with your students through Google Classroom using the Share button. When students click on the class set link in Google Classroom, they will be directed to Mac and Via for access. Once in Mac and Via, the license code is automatically entered for them and they will see the resource on their class sets page.